We've got a packed Chase Chats video today. First, we're going to talk about the viral 4'5 running back and what happened to him. Then we're going to talk about the shortest players to ever play in both college football and the NFL including one that is currently playing for Bill Belichick. So first, probably a lot of you have never even heard the story of Adam Reed. He was at one point going viral, but that was several years ago now. So let's take it back to 2015 with the nationally ranked Plantation American Heritage football team. A school that has produced numerous NFL players, including a running back graduate the year prior, who eventually ended up going in the first round of the NFL draft. His name was Sony Michelle. He measured at 5'11 and 205 pounds. But in 2015, a new senior running back was set to steal the spotlight. 4'5, 95 pound Adam Reed. And if you were to listen to him speak, then you'd realize he has an NFL mindset. He told the Miami Herald, I'm a little undersized, but it's whatever. I don't let my size stop me from doing anything. Reed's high school coach Mike Rumpf, a former NFL defensive back, said, I discovered him that summer in the weight room. He showed me how hard he works. Adam has always been a 10 rep kid. When I ask for 10 reps, he gives me 12. He makes my job easy. Now, if you watch Reed in these highlights, you'll see he's actually got some good speed even on a championship caliber Division I producing school. And yes, he did get in games as a rusher, blocker, and pass catcher. Even at that size, he was doing it all. I mean, it's just such a sight to see someone like half the size of everyone around him just out there competing. Sometimes he looked a little Darren Sproles-esque going sideways and making people miss. Honestly, it's really no wonder why Reed went viral in the first place. But not much is known about what happened to him after his senior year of high school. I tried reaching out to him with some questions for this video, but didn't manage to get a response. Here's what we do know. He studied business a community college near his high school in Fort Lauderdale, and it doesn't have a football team. So it appears Reed's days of lining up in the backfield are over. But even if his playing career is over, it sounds like he'd be welcomed back to football as a coach. Rumpf said, I would love to have him on my coaching staff one day. Who better to coach and teach someone to never give up than someone who's been doing it his whole life. Rumpf is now an assistant at Miami, but I'm sure for Reed, after getting praise for his attitude and intellect all his high school career, it wouldn't be tough for him to get a coaching spot back at his old school. Now you're probably thinking, well, who is the shortest player to ever make it in college football? Meet Jason Carter the shortest player to ever participate in an FBS game. He's got some inches on Reed at 4'9 and 135 pounds. Before walking on at Rice in 2011, he was actually a high school star at running back. He rushed for 18 touchdowns and over 1,200 yards while tallying over 90 tackles at safety. He may have been over a foot shorter than other players, but could apparently lift the same weight and could run just as fast. So he decided to walk on despite his size. He said if they ever come up with a device that measures heart and put it on the top of my head, they'll see I'm 6'9". After a series of medical requests attempting to convince doctors that a 4'9 student could play Division I football, Carter was finally granted the right to play. I went to speak with the coaches. They said, well, we can find something for you to do. And then come early October, I'm all out there running routes and doing things for the scout team. It took two years for Carter to finally get in the game. If that's not a walk-on Rudy type inspirational tale, then I don't know what is. I mean, this guy is arguably deserving of a movie himself. In his senior year, he got in two games and was without a doubt a fan favorite. So Carter left his mark at Rice and in the FBS record book as well. Now he's a software engineer at Amazon. That transition leads us to the next logical step. 
the smallest player to ever play in the NFL. And we have to go all the way back to 1929 with the Staten Island Stapletons. Yes, that was a real NFL team. They had a blocking back named Jack Shapiro out of NYU. And yes, NYU had football back then, and they were actually really good. In fact, Shapiro once played at Yankee Stadium against Fordham in front of 87,000 fans. The record shows him only ever playing in one game professionally, but the NFL Alumni Association has recognized him for his outstanding achievement. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records as well, and let's be honest, he could be there for a while. When you think of other short players in the league, your mind probably goes to maybe Tariq Cohen, who's been an impactful player in the Bears' backfield at 5'6". Of course, Darren Sproles has been in the NFL for well over a decade now. He's also 5'6 and has been selected to three Pro Bowls in his career. Those two still have an inch over former return specialist Trendon Holiday, who played in the league from 2010 through 2015. And in the NFL right now, J.J. Taylor has a chance to become the shortest player in the league. Taylor had a strong career at Arizona while standing at just 5'5". After a down junior year, he still decided to enter the NFL, but no team drafted him. Luckily, Bill Belichick was waiting to swoop him up and he signed with the Patriots as an undrafted free agent. Now, remember that guy who went to Adam Reed's high school? Well, Sony Michelle is once again experiencing injury problems, and elsewhere on the depth chart, Brandon Bolden has opted out. That could open things up for Taylor to compete for a roster spot, or at least a practice squad spot, if he's able to impress this preseason. Maybe he too can carve out a career in the NFL, just like how Cohen burst onto the scene out of nowhere. Here's a blurb from Taylor's draft profile. The comparisons to Chicago Bears running back Tariq Cohen are inevitable with Taylor, but they're not lazy if you watch the film. Taylor combines his diminutive height with an exceptional burst, agility, and contact balance for a player of his size. Much like Cohen, Taylor has elements that remind fans of the human joystick with quick feet and an immense ability to make defenders miss in space. So we can all root for Taylor to make the team this year, but that's all we've got for today's video on players small on height, but large in heart. If you enjoyed this video, then might I recommend my video on the deaf NFL player Derek Coleman. That one is for sure another inspiring story if you're in one of those moods. Otherwise, I've got plenty of NFL content that might interest you. Most of the viewers on this channel aren't actually subscribed, so if you enjoy these videos, then you might as well hit the button so you too can enjoy these videos when they come out.